All right. Let's see what he has to say now that we finished the dungeon, right? <laughs> I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. Remarkable. It's stunning. It looks stunning, Vosgok. <laughs> stunning. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Hmm. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Yeah. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be alive. I was just going to say, it almost sounds like this guy wants us to keep any kind of friendship between us a secret. <clears throat> because no one would believe it, and Ranrock, possibly, this is going to keep him in the dark, right? Interesting. Alright. Do they have a new Japan map in Warzone? I have no clue. I don't think in Warzone, right? I think they, they do have new maps, but they're multiplayer maps. I mean, don't quote me on that. <clears throat> oh, what do we got? We got Dragon Hide Protector's Cloak unlocked we've also got gear trait recipe reward necromantic protection one i think you can equip these into equipment no which we haven't done yet because we didn't have these unlocked i think i have four talent points available <laughs> oops i wasn't even paying attention i have four talent points available so let's see if like for example yeah see if i go to this no trade apply Right? So how would I... How do you apply a trait? How do you apply a trait? Trait slot level 2? How does this work? That We haven't been taught this yet. So I actually don't know how to do... How to apply traits to gear. Like, these have traits already. See? I haven't unlocked it yet. You can't do it. Well, that's stupid. That's freaking stupid, man. So we can't do it here yet, apparently. Apparently there's only something new in the room of requirements, I'm being told. Alright. It's a new scarf. I like that one. I like that color. Alright. So what do we want to do next? Let's let's take a look at our quest line. I don't know why I just closed the menu. That was stupid. Just like me. Uh, quest lines. Uh, beast class. Oh, we could do this. We should do this. We should trade this in and get our our assignment. I need nine more moons. It says zero of nine. See that? Wait, it says return nine. We definitely don't have nine. We only have a few. This one, I don't even know if we can figure this out. This one with the map. Sweeping up the competition. This is new. Participate in a broom trial with Imelda Reyes. We could do that. We can also learn to send up. Where's this one? Let's see where this is. All the way. Damn, that's far. All right, let's do it. Let's fast travel and let's go meet her and see what she wants to do with a broom, a broom challenge, like a race or something, right? Might as well get that out of the way. <clears throat> Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. You guys were quite, quite talkative earlier. Now that I'm back from break, you're all quiet. What happened? What happened? Did you guys, uh, scared you guys off? I just scared you guys off. What's up, Dimitri? How's it going? Shia says the floating candles are outside the Forbidden Forest. There's a bridge before the entrance, not inside the forest itself. So it's right before the entrance? Interesting. We might have to do that. I mean, that's from way for earlier, but I never figured it out. 
Whoa. Here we are. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. What do you mean? I beat you. <laughs> Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Good afternoon, Al. How are you? All right. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my Well, I didn't practice, game. and I beat your record Are on the you first try, to try to so... Are my flying record or not? Let's go. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a <clears throat> decent challenge. This will be level two, the same kind of deal, flying, popping, balloon, time trial or whatever. Yeah, it looks like it. Not balloons, we're gonna go through the rings, right? Okay. Crap, crap, what happened? I can't control it now. Whoa, the controls are all screwed up. I don't know what just happened. I, I seriously can't go straight. Dude, that was so weird. For a, win a minute, I completely lost control. I don't even know why. That was really weird. That was really weird, but all right, now, now, we're, what? Oh, oh. Uh, you're not going as well this time. It's not good. The music's great, but the controls were a little weird. I'd say that was acceptable. You know what it might be? My broom's upgraded. So I think my broom is faster, but because it's faster, it's harder to control. I think that might actually be what's going on. Because remember, I upgraded it with the vendor guy. I actually think it's exactly what's going on. Brilliant. I'm getting the hang of this. So it's kind of backfiring. The speed boost is not really helping me. What? Okay, apparently I didn't go through the ring. A mannequin. There's a mannequin. As I pass the mannequin, I pass the the speed I need to be. See that? all the speed ups. Alright, last one. Yeah, it actually is harder to control now that my now that my move is back. Close enough. So I didn't do it. It's because I got penalties. Penalties I was penalized. I gotta do it again. Seems my record remains untouched. I expected better competition from you. Throw her off the cliff. What do you say? Up for another go? Throw her right off the Wouldn't cliff. Wouldn't want to be known as the slowest Slytherin now, would you? Oh, okay. I'm ready to give it another go. Good. Andrew, when I was looking to move nine years ago, listen to this. When I was in the move nine years ago, was I was potentially looking at Washington or were there other states? No, there were definitely other states in the running. Uh, I was basically looking for states that were business friendly. Mate. All right. So it would be a money concern would be one, but also it was going to be uh, weather and other things. So all these things were a concern. Um, and honestly, money-wise, like lowest, lowest business taxes and things, states like Florida, Texas, those would have been better. But... Weather-wise, those states have extreme weather, whether it's heat or humidity or storms. And I definitely didn't want to have to deal with that kind of extreme weather. Which is why eventually when I chose Washington, it was a combination of it being cheaper than Connecticut, which it absolutely is. It's cheaper out here than now Connecticut because like there's no state income tax and the business and occupation tax out here is very low. 
compared to the state tax that I paid in Connecticut. Um, but there's also much better weather. Everything here is in a much closer radius, so I really never have to drive anywhere. Everything's kind of very close, which is amazing. Um, internet quality out here is much better than the internet that I have in Connecticut. The internet in Connecticut was always finicky and unreliable here. I 99% of the time have great internet, so I can do what I need for my job. And, uh, you know, other things. Like, by the way, exactly Texas, cool. Florida, amazing. They give you crazy, like, write-offs and shit for having businesses there. And, and a lot of them are insanely business-friendly, but the problem is the weather there. Like, in Florida, do you really want to be in a state of storms and hurricanes and insane humidity all year? I don't. Or Texas, same thing. They've got, like, really bad extreme weather recently. So it's a good thing that I didn't go there. I mean, the thing is, people in Texas are quite nice. I like people from Texas, but just for where I would want to live, I probably would not want to live there, you know what I'm saying? Because of the weather. So. I want to talk about a different run. Holy crap. Look at that. A 20 second difference. Beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> now watch her completely change her tune. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. Another course. We shall see. Oh, who's been put out by your talent? You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly, I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. <laughs> Won't even mer learn people. to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready. If you can handle it. All right. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. All right, it's two down. All right, two trials to down. this course again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard, yep. where you can start the race and check your time. Shut up. Then we return to Albie Weeks. Hold on, is there something over here? Another successful flight. We should let Mr. Weeks know. random things. Revelio. As we should go back and see weeks. Pinocchio's Revenge is asking me if I'm going to re re react to specific things. You realize I don't set up the stuff on DSP Reacts. The members do. Like, are you going to react to Moist Critical's reactions to this and that? I, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm The channel, the whole point of DSP Reacts is that people find stuff on the internet that they want me to react to, nominate it, and then I react to it. So, how would I, I'm I'm not choosing what I react to. So the whole question is a flawed question. Would I react to that? I mean, if it's nominated and it seems like it's something interesting, why wouldn't I? But I also don't do that. I mean, I'm I'm not choosing. I mean, you guys are nominating. People who are members of the channel are the ones who nominate. You see? Get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Okay. Oh yeah, Nevada. Andrew says he's interested in Nevada. Nevada's probably super hot, no? Like, arid, dry climate all the time. If you're okay with that, probably. Probably good. Where can I buy Malo Sweet? Anyone know where you buy Malo Sweet from? Now that I'm in town, I should buy more, but I don't know who sells it. Is it the potions guy, or... I guess it could be Magic Neep. Anyone know who sells the Malo Sweet? The seed guy. So this one. Magic Neep. You're sure. 
No, I never played Star Wars Galaxies. Don't know anything about it. It's an MMO. No, I never played a Star Wars MMO. Nope. Nope. I was standing okay, it is magic. -y. Cool. Hello. Be with you in a bit. So... Marlow Sweet leaves. That's what I need. Now you let me know if there's only anything else two. I can help you with. I have the seeds, but I guess I have to go plant them myself, huh? Ah, shit. No one can say I don't keep it stuck. All right, let's trade in this mission, and maybe we have to go back to my room of requirements and uh, and plant some Marlow Sweet because I think I already have the seeds. No sleep real vibes. I don't think that the whole story will change based on the house you selected, but I think that there each each house has its own side quest line that you can right, do that are different. That's what people have told me that like for example, I guess I guess people are saying in Ravenclaw you go to Osgabon prison or something crazy like that from the movies, which you don't go to if you're not the other, Back from other your houses. I want to hear all the particulars. All right. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. Hmm. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. So another upgrade coming, and probably another race, right? Thank you again, truly. All right. So I think we're done here now. I think we'll go to the room of requirements and see if we can do anything with the Malo Suite. Let's do that quick, and then we'll look at quests again. <clears throat> Okay. I agree that this game is a very good job done. A great world built. Everything is great. I, I like, really like the game. See, I was growing Fluxweed. I don't need it anymore, though. Just empty the pot. I don't need Fluxweed anymore. I need Malo Sweet. Malo Sweet. There you go. Okay. That's what we need. So we're going to keep that growing. I really don't need Mandrakes either, do I? Wait a minute. Didn't I get a new thing? I did. I got a new thing to brew potions, didn't I? Oh, I need to make one of these for the quest. Okay, good. Let's get the invisibility potion. Then we can figure finish that quest, right? Uh, let's see here. What am I doing? Wrong, wrong thing. Here it is, the new potions bench. T-shaped, yup, that's it, I want the T-shaped. So this does everything, right? It's three potions at once, I think? Holy crap, this is amazing. We'll do a Wigan Weld. We'll do a Maxima. And a Focus. Look at that. I have a million potions brewing at once. That's really cool. Alright, we got everything here growing. We do. Oh, I also said there was other new stuff, right? Didn't it say I have a new table or something? Yeah, look. A mid-sized botanical table. Does it fit back there? The playable space is weird. Look, they make you... That's so weird. They make you put it in certain spaces. Like that? Like, I, I made the table a big deal. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. 
I actually don't know what that does. Hagrid has done a super chat. I wonder if this is the fare for Hogwarts Express from plant form nine and three quarters in the words of a real Hagrid, you're a wizard Philly. I have no idea what you're talking about. But thank you to Hagrid for a super chat. <laughs> First super chat in like two hours, so I appreciate that. But I have no clue what any of that means. All right, Derek, I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. See you for DSP Reacts tomorrow. It's going to be DSP versus the internet, by the way. It's not called DSP Reacts. That's <laughs> that's not the name of the show. Out of all the potions you... All right, brewed a ton of potions. So basically, I can brew a ton of potions now, like healing potions and stuff. Good, let's do it. Brew all these healing potions, quick. I got 13. Cool. All right. So now we got Malo Sweet growing in here, which is great. I definitely need that. Can I do it in more than one spot? Like, can I... Can I stop with the Mandrake? Yeah, let's do that. Let's part, or do more Malo Sweet here. Yeah, perfect. Let's just have Malo Sweet constantly growing so when I come back, I can grab a couple, grab a couple, so I always have enough for the Merlin challenges. Okay, what other quests do we have? Oh, here we go. Let's do this. We're gonna get a new spell, Descendo. This is, uh, what, Natty's mother? The professor, Natty's mother. Exit. It's out here. No, that's Beast's class. That's not what I want. What the? Where's the quest I want to go to? Here? No. That's descending for sweets. Murky depths. Uh. Is this it? That's it right there. Oh, here we go. Okay. Divination Classroom. I'm glad you're enjoying this playthrough, Date No Sleep Revives. Divination. I've said that travel broadens the mind. That's right. Wasn't this the one that's like way up here in the attic? You have to go up a ladder? Yeah, look. You have to go up a ladder to get to the classroom. That's so weird. Advance time. Okay. There we go. This is divination. Get it. <laughs> it's supposed to be like clairvoyance. I guess it is, right? Like you read the tea leaves, you read the lines on someone's hand. Are you predicting the future or something? Is that what this is supposed to be? Yeah, look, they're trying to read tea leaves. What a dunce. Sneeze into the tea leaves. That's not going to do it. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Rebellion. Anything in this room that we need? Uh, doesn't look like it. So that was divination class. What Where do we got? have here? A demigod. Wait! Oh shit, there's a demigod. So once we do this quest, then we should advance time. Yeah. I hope those assignments... Okay. I've completed all <clears throat> my tasks, Professor Onoi. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present, 
and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? Triumph, danger, power? I'm not sure. I honestly don't know, Professor. At times, the future is murky mm. to us all. As with rippling water, one must wait for things to settle before the reflection becomes clear. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Okay. Channel your magic towards Descended. your target. So if I see something in the in the air, I can make it land. I wonder what kind of things I'll want to do that. Because before now, I've always used the the spell that pulls, but this spell, I guess, will will make things land in the you air. Haven't. Maybe a bird. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training domain? We've almost wow. We've almost got all the spells right. So this is it. This is it. This is called uh, Descendo, right? The ones we don't have are Transformation, Bombarda, and then the Curses, which I don't know how we get the Curses. I'm sure a teacher's not going to teach us the Curses, right? Probably not. So where's the training dummy? Excellent. I think you have it. It made it bounce. Akio. <laughs> Akio. Wait, the dummy. The dummy went down the ladder. Did you see that? The dummy just got sucked down the ladder hole. So now there's no dummy to train on. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's advance time to night, and then I can grab this uh, <laughs> this statue. It went zoop right down the ladder. Like, yeah, I don't think Fine you can climb a ladder. Guys. It's on wheels. I like she doesn't say anything. I didn't leave the class all day. No, I don't want to do this. Do you have a moment? I do. Not what I wanted. I'm sorry. It seems now isn't the best time after all. I sensed as much. I sensed you are here to take this thing off my desk and steal. You stupid ass! Now I send you to Gulag! <laughs> you think you're going to play Warzone tonight? No, you go to Gulag now! You steal from me! Stupid student! <laughs> you sat here all day just to steal statue off my, my desk. Screw you! See you in hell! That's pretty disrespectful, no? Uh, Teach, I'm just gonna sit here and steal from you later. What Is that okay? Anyway. Alright, let's see here. So now we have, we have a million things to do, and we have even more things to do than I saw on the map. Like, for example, if I, if I click over here on this flag, I think there's two new quests we don't have yet. Yeah, look. So there's one, it says it's Descending for Sweets, and the other one says... It's murky depths, so why don't we do these? So let's do this. Let's hit let's hit track quest. Let's just walk over there and let's see what we encounter on the way. Perhaps we'll find some doors to unlock, right? Maybe we'll actually have some new things that we couldn't do previously in the playthrough, but now we could do them. Maybe like collecting the statue. Maybe we'll find another statue. So let's do that. We have the yeah, see we have the lock pit, and some of these doors were locked previously. Rebellion. So the question is, can we open any of these? Here's something. Oh. It's one of the keys. Okay, let's follow the key. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, God, it's a choppy frame rate. What happened there? It's going up. Where's it going? Uh, it definitely went up. No, it went down. Right here. Oh, that was an easy one. That one was right here. Cool. All right. Jade is all good. Jade says he's not really interested in DSP React. He's not going to watch it. That's cool, Jade. I mean, DSP React content is very rare, right? We only do it once a week now. That's it. And then once a month will be a big a big event. I know you're here for the gameplay, my friend, and you are welcome here. And, you know, it's all good if you're not interested in the reacting. A lot of people probably won't Rebellion. be. Rebellion. 
a lot of people might be interested in the reacting and not care about the gameplay. You know, I could see it both ways. So we did that. No locked doors or anything over here? No, not that I can see. All right, let's head this way. Have I seen Edge of Tomorrow? It's Tom Cruise's best movie on HBO Max. I've not seen it. Maybe I'll watch it now that I have HBO Max, but I've not seen the movie. Oh, what just happened? What is this? What is this? Is this a puzzle? It says interact. One, two, three, four. There's four Roman numerals. See that? Oh, okay. So it says it says that symbol is three. Okay. And then this one, it's like a moon. It says that symbol is two. Okay. We have a puzzle on a bridge here. I stumbled upon it by chance. Okay, here's two more. Good for you. Okay. We have a triangle with a circle in it. The triangle with the circle in it is three. And then we have a triangle with lines in it. The triangle with lines in it is one. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I already say there was a three? Oh, this is four, not three. This is four. Whoa, what's this? We found a room. What's down here? We found a secret. It was a Hogwarts secret, it says. What the hell? No, what are you doing? Dude, this is creepy. This reminds you of Dark Souls, Rebellion. right? Jade, I hear you. On DSP Reacts right now, it's a new channel. And there's going to be a lot of trolling until we get it cleaned up. And you know, it'll probably take a while to clean it up, honestly. So I'm sorry about that annoying trolling that happened to you last week. And, uh, you know, we're hoping to clean it up long term. So that, that won't continue. But I certainly cannot guarantee that tomorrow. Probably it's going to take weeks and weeks before we get it to the level where it's cleaned up. And we don't have that level of bullshit, right? So I think eventually we will get to that level. And I'm sorry that you, you, you were annoyed by those idiotic trolls last week. Sorry about that, man. Willow says, also, they're not into it either. It's fine. I'm, I'm, not everyone will be into that. It's definitely different from the interactive gameplay we do, right? So different. Oh, look at this. This is new. Wait, what was that? Underground Harbor? What the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. Well, we have something new here. Lumos. What the frick is that? It's a, bit of a, a fountain with a dragon spitting water. Okay. that be? Blue flame courtyard. A fountain with a dragon spitting water. Mm. Revelio. Lumos. Wow, I got a $2 tip. Thanks whoever this was. It's been hours since I got a tip. I really appreciate that. So I just received a $2 tip from... Wow. Best pickup line, I'll open my griffin door and you can definitely slither in. That's disgusting. Absolutely revolting. That's something that Voldemort would say. Thank you for the $2 tip. Okay. Thanks for the tip. I mean, like I said, it's been hours since I had a, a tip. I appreciate that. Okay. That was incredibly disturbing. All right. Um, we're looking for a fountain that looks like it's spewing water, right? Oh, here's a flu flame. 
Yeah, this is all new. We haven't been this, this way yet. Indeed. See the quad courtyard? Nah. I'm most pleased to be included. Can bring us. Accurate. Yeah. This is a whole new area. But I don't Oh wait, is this it? Descender. That is not what I wanted to cast. Arrest the momentum. Lumos. Ah shit, I guess not. It looks like it, but I guess it's not. I hear water running. Which is what made me think that's what it is, but I guess not. Although it totally looks like it, no? That does look like it, right? Maybe there's another one somewhere? Maybe there's a, like a, a, a matching pair? What was that noise? Revelio. It's one of the keys. Ah, cool. We're finding all kinds of new stuff, man. It's funny, we've, we've been playing this, what, like 17, 18, actually now about 20 hours, and we're going to new parts of the school we've never even seen before at this point. It's nuts. All right. There's so much to do. Rebellio. We definitely have, uh... There was something, a statue I just ran by up there. Yeah, let's do that one. That's the Levioso, I believe, to do that one. Yep. So I don't see another I don't see another uh fountain that looks like that dragon one. Rebellion. So I honestly don't know why that one didn't count and it wasn't the right one, but apparently it wasn't the right one. I don't know. That seems like the only dragon fountain. I guess we could go back and double check. I'm good, Mark. How are you? Welcome. Does this game? Do you think this game is worth the price? Honestly, from what I'm seeing, yeah. As long as you're okay with the combat, you don't think the combat is too simple. I do feel this game has an insane amount of content and is worth seventy bucks. And it's, I, it, for me, it's hard for me to say that because you know me, I'm, I'm a big Rebellion. skeptic when it comes to these games now selling for seventy. You're right. Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away, all of you. Are they from the restricted section? No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me. I know. And taking dangerous books. <laughs> all from the restricted section. Yes, I mean, shut up. Enough. Here, perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. Uh. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly. Rebellion. That's what I said. And let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off. Limits. <laughs> Stole off limits Ugh, books. I feel like a muggle. I look at one. You are a muggle. Take that. By the way, there's another statue sitting right here. Let Jason, I don't have to say sorry to him. Yeah, but Jay, you gotta understand. Listen, I've been doing this for 15 years, correct? And things have definitely changed over the years. They get, you know, you have to you have to adapt on the fly and you have to learn on the fly, correct? And what I've learned is that sadly there's just no way to do stuff perfectly. However. I do strive to do th things as effectively as I can. And when I have someone who... Is that the moth? That's the moth. When I have someone who's a regular... This is it. I found it. It's a different one. Okay, we found it. Lumos. When I have someone who's a regular like you, who now is saying that they're basically kind of, you know, annoyed and not enjoying themselves, that, that, uh, that upsets me. Now, is it my fault that a bunch of fucking trolls act like shitheads? No. I mean, I'm not taking responsibility for the fucking trolls, that's for sure. But at the same time, I would hope that in time we can make things better so that you can be welcome and not feel like you're being attacked by a bunch of scumbags, you know? So I'll do my best, and I'm sorry that that happened, and I will, hopefully, things will get better in time, you know? And I feel like I should apologize because it's my channel. It's my new channel. It's my fault that these people, you know are given the opportunity to do what they're doing. I feel like eventually it will improve, but for now, you know, it's growing pains, right? You're trying to learn and adapt and everything. Here we are. We did it. Sweet.
Willow says, I'm interested in the longer DSP React marathons and Ask the King. That makes sense. You don't care about the, you don't care about the weekly clip show I'm going to do. Okay. I think We're everyone will like something on the channel, hopefully. Hopefully everything, everyone will find something that appeals to them. Okay. <laughs> We're going in here. There's a big ass door. Well, we got a lot going on here. Okay, we gotta find another one of those keys. Can I unlock this door? Yes, I can unlock the door now. Hello, Sweet. dueling gloves. We do have to go... You know what I didn't do? We went to the room of, of requirements and I didn't identify some unidentified items. Rebellion. So that's a mistake. I should definitely do that when I get a chance again. Love you. Whole new area of the school. All this new stuff. Oh, here we go. It's gonna go down here. I know it is. It's gonna go right over here. No? Where did it go? There it did. I knew it did. I knew it was going over here. We got a bunch more of these today, right? Out of the 16, we probably got like maybe 10, I would think. Because we already had like five or six. Of course I'm loving the game, Jane. Of course I am. <clears throat> okay. That's the mission. Rebellion. Oh, shoot. Confringo. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I burned it. I burned the page before I grabbed it. Oops. Okay. Let's do this quest. Alrighty. Gareth Weasley. Are you calling me, Gareth? I was... After you helped him with that fupa feather and potions, oh. I reckoned you might be just well, if the I didn't help him, I maybe I wouldn't have gotten this quest. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Shouldn't you be studying? You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on honey, me. Honey Thinks I need to focus cellar. on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honey Duke cellar ah. and grab a few dried billywig stings. That's probably me. the door that was locked when we were in there. So everyone has a different opinion. Nosy Real Vibes is enjoying all the content. and says if you burn a page, does it respawn somewhere else? So you don't burn them. They don't go away. They're fireproof. It's kind of silly. Uh, Walter Moss says, I'm looking forward to DSP versus the internet. I like your React content from last year. I'm hoping that DSP versus the internet ends up being as good. Some people are saying they're not interested in that. And that's all good. Again, different kinds of content, correct? Different kinds of content. It creates variety. Some people might like one channel. Some people might like the other. Some people might like only certain things on each channel. That's fine. I like having that variety. It's awesome. Okay. I think we should just do it. Secret Passage is right up my street. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> but you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. We know that. Just tap it with your wand and say, we, we found that passage, but we didn't know the word. It had said there was a secret passage, but we didn't know the word. All right. Thank you, Chef D, for re-upping your membership for seven months. He's a sub fill. Just the dab emo. Thank you, Chef D. I appreciate that. All right. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Cool. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. So I'm gonna go steal. Perhaps I can convince <laughs> the meat to help me with steal my potions honey homework. Dukes. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. We saw what happened to the kids who were shoplifting from Honey Dukes. What's gonna happen when we're like outright we're stealing from the basement? Those dried billy He's probably gonna like cut balls off to finish his latest concoction. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff going on. one eyed witch statues in the next room. Too hard to find. 
House Point Hourglasses. The large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphire, and emerald. They're enchanted to keep count of the house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Oh, this is where they actually track the points? Now that's interesting. Each one looks uniquely different. There's Gryffindor, all golden. This is, what, Hufflepuff? It's more, like, nature-themed with wood. Ravenclaw. Man, it's kind of almost ethereal, like, like, like maybe the stars or, or the air space. And, of course, Slytherin, just a bunch of snakes. Just a bunch of dirty snakes. Disgusting. Oh, I'll see you tonight, Kagome. Sounds good. A bunch of freaking dirty snakes. Ah! Crap, I wanted to grab that and it flew away. Page flying around in here. I don't see. Oh, oh! Aki got it. We got so much going on here. Look, there's one of those things there. Can we go through this door now? There's been a lot going on here to do. Okay, what's this? What the hell? Let's see what two, two armor sets are fighting. They're slapping each other around. Lumos. That looks like the main classroom, doesn't it? Or the main room with the gathering hall? Is this it? This is it. It's right. It's literally right here. Revelio. It's right there. There's the maw. Owl Lectern. The enchanted lectern serves as the spot from which the great headmistresses and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Get it? The great headmistresses and headmasters. And yeah, that other asshole, Professor Black. They all hate him. They hate Professor Black, I guess. Lumos. All right, cool. We got this one. And then we're going to further explore because there's stuff in here. Looks like they're eating. It's food time. Flu flame, flu flame. How nice to see you, my young friend. Zoop. Very good. Oh yeah? Andrew says tonight will be the first late night stream he's attempted in quite a while. He'll see me then. Alright, sounds good. Warzone Season 2 premiere tonight. We're gonna see exactly what they've updated and changed in Warzone. The Hall of Floating Candles. Oh look! Look what we've got. Where'd it go? Went this way. Wait, did it go this way? Shit, where did it go? I lost it. Oh man, I lost it. I did lose it. Did it go over here? Oh, here it is. I didn't even know about this. Cool. All right. Yeah, I hope Warzone updates are good. For, I hope they're for the better and they don't make it even worse. <laughs> Seriously, can you imagine? Can you imagine if they make Warzone worse? Rebellion. Oh, where are we now? This is new. I've never been up here. All right, we can open this chest Hello, here. Mora. This is all new stuff, man. There's a new battle pass as well. I don't really care about that. I didn't care about the first battle pass. Better go. Oh, ochre cloak. Ochre cloak. This is fire, I believe, right? Confirm. Yep. Getting tons of field guide pages because we never messed around over here. So we missed out on... Oh, it's an ottoman. We missed out on a lot of stuff over here previously. By the way, guys, we're winding down. Probably only about another five minutes left. I'll see what uh, like optional stuff we can do quickly here before we adjourn. I think there was a puzzle over here to do. And then next time around... Which, by the way, we're now taking a break from Hogwarts for a bit. Um, I'm not playing this again until Sunday, okay? Because we got the React stuff tomorrow, and then we've got some One Piece Odyssey on Saturday. So Sunday we resume, just so you guys know. All right, so 9 plus 7 is 16, plus another 6 would be 24. No, another 8 would be 24, so that would be the spider. So this is a spider. <laughs> And then we got 11 plus 0 is 11, so 3. So 3 would be the three-headed Hydra snake creature thing. There we go. 
Very nice. Here we've got chest, an armchair, and a gold wooden spectacles. All right. I'm thinking to end this, perhaps what we should do is go back to that, the room requirements and just identify some stuff we found. And the next time around, we will resume from here. That's what I'm thinking. We'll resume from here because that's where our quest was. All right, room requirements it is before we adjourn. Here we go. Does the game show signs of a mental challenge in terms of solving puzzles? I would say some of them, yes, and some of them now are very easy. It's kind of a mix. Thing's still growing, huh? Damn, that thing yields a lot. Um, okay, we wanted to identify items. Ceramic mask and secret solver's tailor hat. Let's take a look at this equipment. And this will be where we adjourn for today. Thank you guys again for being a great audience. For those who did support the stream, thank you so much. Everything, you know, fun. Another great stream. Uh, Merlin Charles. Oh! No. We got this, though. A broom appearance reward. The Night Dancer's Broom? How do you equip that? We also have... A bathing costume. <laughs> a bathing costume. I always love wearing costumes when I bathe. Okay. And here we've got... Ah! Defeat Spiders. Spider Slayer Armor Set. Look at that. An armor set. We've also got an officer uniform. Are we good now on the challenges? Let's see. No. What the? We still got more. What did we not do? Completed. What didn't we do? What are they talking about? We did all the combat. Alright, exploration. Anything new or did we do it all? No, we did it all. I think what they want, they want you to hover over the new ones. Okay. Alright, now let's take a look at our inventory. Jade, I'll see ya. Maybe we'll see you tonight. Oh, I'm still having tons of fun, Tub Tub Dasher. Like, every time I play the game, I'm having tons of fun. Not like, I'm not, I have no complaints at all about the game. Put that on there. Uh, new hat. Oh my god, it's really good. Wow! Increased damage with Expelliarmus, which is the one that takes it, it, the, oh my god, look at that hat. That is gaudy stuff. That's the one that disarms you, right? So we'll, we'll keep that. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll keep that. Look at that. It went, dude, I went from like 37 to 69. Secret Solver's Tailor Hat. Sweet. Damn, look at this. Increased damage dealt to cursed targets. 57. 45 to 57. Of course, I don't want that. We're going to definitely change the appearance. Go back to my usual glasses or whatever. There you go. Anything new? I think that I found a new scarf. Nah, they're all junk. I gotta go sell stuff again. <clears throat> nope, we got the best one. That one's crappy. What about outfits? Do we have any new appearances? I think we did unlock a, a, some new ones. This one. You can't even tell because you're wearing the coat. You can't even see it. Yeah. And then... Oh my god, the suit of armor. Yeah, look. A suit of armor. It's called the Spider Slayer Armor. You feel like you're wearing a suit of armor rather than a wizard's cloak. You know, at some point, I'm, I'm going to look at all my different appearances and, and totally customize. But the thing is, I like grabbing the new ones and wearing them right away. Broom. Ha. Huh. Yes, it's the new one. The Night Dancer. Oh, cool. All right. We'll wear that. The Night Dancer Broom. That looks neat, right? I agree. The soundtrack is very relaxing and beautiful. All right. Let's save up, and that'll be where we adjourn for today. Again, thank you all. It was a great stream. Good progress, as always. I'm always I always enjoy when I play this game with you guys. Hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And uh, you know, I said we're going to give it a few days rest now. You know, the game's been out for a little over a week. And uh, we're going to give it a few days rest. When we come back, we'll just continue on with these new side quests in, you know, in the school. And go from there. Thank you all. Until next time. Stay cool. All right.